Now, can I please request Vani to bring four garlands and present them to our guests in honor of today's event? Thank you, Mr. Sharma, for welcoming our guests. Can I please request everyone to be upstanding for the national anthems? And Ajay, can I please have, first of all, the national anthem of Australia? Can I please request the national anthem of India? Thank you, everyone. Can I please request Mr. Arun Sharma to escort Honorable Robin Scott and Councillor Beverly Pinder to light the lamps? Thank 
Can I also request Mr. Varenda Pereira to escort Honorable Matthew Guy and Mr. Malotra for lighting the second lamps. Thank you. Can I please request all our guests to be guests to be seated? And now can I please invite on stage the chairman of Celebrate India, Mr. Arun Sharma, for a formal welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Namaskar and good evening. And I'm pretty sure you guys are enjoying it. If you are enjoying it, just make the biggest noise. Are you enjoying? Yeah. Yes. Everybody should know this, we are here. Before I go on, on behalf of Celebrate India, let me acknowledge the traditional owners of this land where we gather today and pay my respect and namaskar to the elders of the past and present. Of course, we got so many distinguished guests with us. Let me acknowledge few, representing the Premier, Honorable Robin Scott, Leader of Opposition, Honorable Matthew Guy, former Premier of Victoria, Honorable Ted Bellew, President of, President of Legislative Council, Honorable Bruce Atkinson, Councillor Beverly Pinder from City of Melbourne, Acting Council General of India, Mr. Rakesh Malhotra and Mrs. Malhotra, Chair of Victorian Multicultural Commission, Helen Kapilos and Commissioner Dinge. Hakan came a bit early, I'll be caught again. And Mr. Andrew Crisp, the Commissioner, he was also around some time before. Distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, Aap sabhi ko hamari taraf se pohot dheron dheron shub kamnaye diwaliyon ke liye. Diwali message is becoming very well known now. Everybody seems to understand that now and can relate to it. It's victory of good over evil and light over darkness. But what is interesting here or important here to understand the significance of light. When we talk about light, we're talking about light of wisdom and understanding over the darkness of intolerance and hatred. That is why this festival is, after all those years, is still relevant today. And that is why we celebrate Diwali with our friends in Victoria. This week-long festival was launched with Australia India Institute in the best university of Australia in Melbourne Uni on Monday. And over this week, the whole city was enveloped in the beautiful, colorful colors of India, from Docklands to Metro, from Metro to Federation Square. This presentation of over the week 
what we did, we tried to present the most colorful tapestry of Indian culture. Each year, we invite different communities to participate with us and join in. And this year, we're delighted to invite the Sudanese community and African community to participate with us and make this festival even more colorful. The festival, it's all about caring and sharing. And that is why we've joined the Breast Cancer Foundation, which you heard so much about it already, and celebrate this pink Diwali, mainly to raise some awareness and raise some funds towards the research work. Any of your people wanting to support it, we would like you to encourage yourself to do, do some donation, doesn't matter what it is, and make the contribution to make this work even more worthwhile. To support this wonderful cause of the Pink Diwali, all Diwali illumination of at Melbourne Star, Old Treasury Building, Museum, Exhibition Building, and of course, this Federation Square will all turn pink today. Along with Australia Indian Institute and Indian Consulate, which will also illuminate for Diwali. But there is one more surprise for all of you. There is one more iconic building, which is actually not just Victorian, but Australian iconic building, which is going to turn into Indian tricolor from today, and that is MCG. Let me now share some facts about this program. Nine and a half hours long program. It took hundreds and hundreds of hours over four months with over 200 plus very dedicated artists to present this program and managed by a very dedicated and passionate group of people who we are very proud of. And I would like you to join me in giving them a big applause because without these people, none of these things would have been possible. So please join me and, and really give me a big round of applause for the Celebrate India team of volunteers. None of this would have been possible without another group of very special friends and that's our sponsors. We are thrilled to have the ongoing support of both sides of parliament. Thank you very much, both of you, for that matter. Indian Consulate and City of Melbourne. You guys have been rock for so many years and we really wish your support will continue and hopefully grow a bit more. To the team of Federation Square, they for months and months as we prepare, they stand by us and they really do a wonderful job. We want, really want to thank you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> to Metro, Australia India Institute, India Foods, Melbourne Star, Aussie Migration, Zaparis Lawyers, Gora Travels, Sweet India, City West Waters, AFL, and to our new supporters this year, Metro Nest Homes and Singapore Airlines along with our media partners. Thank you massively for your support. Really appreciate that. There's one more very important group here. And this group is none other but you guys, because without your support, we wouldn't be doing this. And without your energy and support every year, we will not feel excited enough to go on. So thank you very much to all of you for coming up every year and supporting us, and Shubh Diwali to you all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sharma. May I please invite on stage Honorable Robin Scott to say a few words. Shubh Diwali. Um, I won't acknowledge all the dignitaries here because it's already been done by Arun, but I thank Arun I'd acknowledge that there we have representation from a fo the former Premier, Ted Bayou here, um, the opposition leader and other dignitaries here today, um, representatives of the Indian government. Um, it's really important that we have ongoing bipartisan support for multiculturalism and in the Indian community's role, and it's something I acknowledge and wish to see continue into the future. 
Um, the Andrews Labor government absolutely values the contribution made by Indian Victorians. We understand that the Indian community brings with you one of the great civilizations of the world and brings it here in a festival of light, a festival of joy, a festival of family, a festival of happiness. As Arun mentioned, Diwali represents the triumph of good over evil, of light over darkness, but importantly of, of knowledge over ignorance. It's something that has become an absolute key part of the Victorian calendar. You see such a wonderful event with many thousands of people attending and you know you're in a city that loves the Indian community, a government that loves the Indian community, and dare I say it, our opposition will be competing for that love, but, uh, but it is important. It is important that we acknowledge the wonderful contribution, and you can rest assured that the Andrews Labor government will stand side by side with the Indian community. We've made a number of recent announcements. The first state, uh, state's first ever dedicated Indian cinema and Bollywood attraction fund. There is no more exciting representation of Indian culture than the Bollywood film industry. We're also committed to the purchase of two dedicated Indian aged care facilities, Melbourne's West and South East, and there's more to come and the Premier will be joining you later tonight. But let me say again, the Indian community is making a fantastic contribution to Melbourne and to Victoria. We could not imagine uh, multicultural Melbourne and Victoria without the Indian community. Your lives, the lives that you are making here create something very special. You bring with you thousands of years of tradition, intellectual, artistic, philosophical, religious traditions, and you give them life here in Victoria. We are more the richer for your contribution, and we are very grateful. And we know that Victoria is much better for the daily lives that you create something special here, a place where people have come, have brought thousands of years of intellectual and artistic traditions into a society which welcomes you with open arms and knows we are much stronger for your presence. Shub Diwali, have a wonderful festival and know you are doing so much to make this state great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honourable Robin Scott. And I would also like to say a big, a special welcome to Honourable Nick Consiris, the Minister for Multicultural, former Minister of Multicultural Affairs, sorry. And I would like to now invite on stage Councillor Beverly Pinder, to, who is representing the Lord Mayor of City of Melbourne, to say a few words. Hello, everyone. How are you? It's great to see you here. So as, as Arun just said, I'm, I'm representing the city of Melbourne, and thank you and happy Diwali. Before I get underway, may I respectfully acknowledge that we're here on the land of the Kulin Nation and pay my respects to elders past and present. All of the honourable guests, including the honourable Ted Bailey, welcome Ted, great to see you here. But I do want to say welcome to all the Celebrate India volunteers. Because as, as Arun said earlier, without volunteers, we don't get big crowds like this because we can't manage them. We can't stage the events that we all love attending. So thank you very much, volunteers. This is very special. I think most of you will already know by now. I was born in a little island called Sri Lanka. So this was, I grew up with Diwali. I mean, my neighbours, you know, we'd celebrate Diwali, we'd light lamps, but the best part of Diwali was the sweets that we had later. So I, was, I still have fond memories of Diwali as a, as a child in Sri Lanka. And since migrating to Australia, of course, in my teens, it's been great to see, as a councillor, it's been great to see this festival getting so much prominence, as Robin said earlier, from both sides of, of Parliament, and, and the city, the city loves you, so we'll, we'll certainly continue to support this festival. Now, this festival is in its 13th year, which is amazing. It's absolutely sensational. It's a special festival, not just for Melburnians, but obviously you look around and you see so many people of Indian heritage, and that's amazing. I mean, I think there'd be a few Sri Lankans in between as well. We have something like 210,000 Victorians who are of Indian heritage. So welcome everyone, we love you. 
and we really want you to celebrate and immerse yourselves in Melbourne and be very much a part of what we offer. Our appreciation of India and its subcontinental neighbours has brought our countries and indeed our major cities closer and closer. And in fact, if the MCG is going to be lit up tonight in Indian colours, what more can we say? We are proud to be one of the most multiracial cities in the world. And I think that's, that's the, the essence of Melbourne. You know, here I am, Sri Lankan born, and I'm now in my second term at council. So it's open to everyone, and there are friends everywhere to help you along the way. Special thanks to Arun Sharma for tonight and celebrate India. We love this festival, Arun, and thank you very much, everyone, for coming from all around Victoria. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Beverly Pinder. May I please welcome on stage Honourable Matthew Guy, the Leader of the Opposition, to say a few words, please. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, can I begin in acknowledging Arun Sharma, but also uh, the former Premier Ted Baillieu, who has done so much for the Indian community. What a pleasure to see him here tonight. Minister Robin Scott, uh, Bruce Atkinson, the Upper House President, Helen Kapalos, the Chair of the VMC, uh, to Rakesh Mahotra, the Acting Consul General, uh, Be Councillor Beverly Pinder from the City of Melbourne, uh, to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, Namaste, Shat Shri Akal, Happy Diwali. Now, you know all the politicians are very focused on the 24th of November. There's a contest on the 24th of November. But I know all of you are focused on the 23rd of November when there's, when there's a 2020 between India and Australia. So, of course, the election plays second fiddle to what's going to happen the night before. I know you won't be interested in it. Um, what a pleasure it is to be here again at Fed Square to see so many people enjoying Diwali. There are Diwalis all across our city nowadays, from the western suburbs to where I was today in Craigieburn, Keysborough, the southeastern suburbs, the eastern suburbs. It is now part of our multicultural agenda and how exciting and pleasing that is for Melbourne to see so much saffron now in the colour all across our city when it's around Diwali time. And as the leader of the Liberal Party, a party that believes in family, faith and communities, what an honour it is to again share Diwali with everyone here. And want to again say how proud I am to say that should I come to government in after that contest on the 24th, the support we want to give to so many different parts of this community, whether it's the Sikh Games, the Kabaddi Festival, Iskon Temple in Albert Park, the Rockbank Temple, to Keysborough, the Vasaki March, a new community centre in the southeast. Support that makes this community grow and thrive and be amongst our city's proudest. But also to have a new sister state relationship between Victoria and a state in India. To have a real link between India and Victoria. To teach Hindi in our schools. We teach other languages, let's teach Hindi in our schools. And importantly, to look for that next precinct in the southeast and also in the west to have as a home for our Indian communities. But ladies and gentlemen, I know there's a lot of talk about aged care facilities and there have been for many facilities around for communities in our city. As a patron of the FIAV, I'm honoured and proud to say that in April next year, finally, ground will be broken on a $45 million, 108 bed facility, the first Indian aged care facility for our city. And how proud I'll be to be there as a patron of FIAV. Ladies and gentlemen, happy Diwali. Jai Hind, enjoy the night. Thank you, Honourable Matthew Guy, and may I please now invite on stage the Acting, acting Council General of India in Victoria, Mr Rakesh Malhotra, to say a few words. Namaskar and good evening to you all. Happy Diwali. Aap sabko Diwali ki bahut bahut shukramnaay. 
I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we are gathered and pay my respects to their elders past and present. I would also like to acknowledge the presence of Honorable Robin Stott, Minister of Multicultural Affairs, Honorable Matthew Dry, Leader of the Opposition, Mr. Ted Bellew, former Premier, Mr. Uh, Bruce Atkinson, President of the Legislative Council, uh, Councillor Beverly Pender, Ms. Helen Trapalos, Mr. Chin Tan, Commissioner. It's my pleasure to be here with you to celebrate Diwali. In India, Diwali will be celebrated on 7th of November. However, as usual, in Victoria, the celebrations have already begun and will continue till the month end. In Melbourne, Diwali is celebrated with as much enthusiasm as any other festival. It shows the true spirit of multicultural Victoria. Diwali is not just an Indian festival, but has become one of the Victoria's festival and is looked forward with great hope and anticipation every year in the multicultural calendar of Melbourne. I would like to commend the vibrant spirit of Victoria for that. Diwali symbolizes many noble thoughts. It celebrates the victory of good over evil and seeks the blessing of goddess to bring prosperity and happiness over the coming years. Diwali gives a significant message of removing the darkness from within and celebrate life with love and empathy. Given this part of our ethos, and this would be made the focus to celebrate this festival. We, would, would, we should de dedicate the celebrations to the service of those who are less fortunate and needy. This year, we are also celebrating 150th anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. I think some of you would have seen the films on Mahatma Gandhi which are being shown today. I'm sure we, be, we would imbibe some of the teachings from the life of Mahatma Gandhi. I would like to thank Celebrate India and wish you all a very happy Diwali. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rakesh.